Waterfront Business Improvement Area, is, as the primary organizer of the Red Path Toronto Waterfront Festival, uh, is very pleased to welcome these international ships as they visit Toronto. Uh, we're lucky to have visiting uh, ships from uh, the Netherlands, Germany, and uh, several U.S. based ships, uh, supplementing our own local tall ships, such as what's behind me is uh, uh, Playfair and Pathfinder, our local sail training vessels. The ships in the uh, uh, Great Lakes Challenge this season are helping bring awareness to the condition of the Great Lakes. It's a well-known fact that every drop of water that's in the lakes takes centuries to reach the sea. So the uh, water that these sailing ships are floating in right now is the very same water that the first European explorers first encountered when they came here. Things we put in the Great Lakes tend to stay, so we should look after them better. And uh, the event this summer is helping highlight that fact. Uh, so what people can expect is uh, uh, a reconnection of, of um, the cultures around uh, the city of Toronto and uh, you know just the um, um, the fantasy of sailing abroad and, and the historical days of uh, tall ships sailing around the world uh, bringing uh, you know resident populations into into Toronto. I'm once in this year on invitation uh, from the ASTA, from the American Sail Training Association, and um, they are organizing this uh, tall ships event on the Great Lakes, uh, starting in uh, Montreal and Toronto, and um, we are the first time for this event here uh, in Canada and afterwards in the USA. And um, we are very lucky uh, to um, be invited by ASTA and uh, to be a part of this uh, Tall Ships Challenge and um, uh, to have the possibility also for our own crew just to see something new, the Great Lakes. And I'm very happy to be here in Toronto and I'm very happy uh, to be here in the city. I never have been before in Toronto, so I'm also going to take a look of the city. And uh, most of us uh, also never have been in Toronto, so it's also a nice possibility to meet land and people. Two main uh, uh, lessons or objectives that are being sought this summer with this group of, of vessels is uh, awareness of conservation and education. Uh, both in terms of understanding more about the environment and how to care for it and how things we do to these lakes tend to hang around, but also uh, helping people understand they have powers of leadership and courage within themselves that normal life wouldn't bring out of them. And those are the lessons that the people who run these ships will teach each other and themselves. You ask me what to do if uh, somebody likes to sail uh, just uh, just to spend uh, holidays and you ask me um, how it's possible to sail on this ship if um, uh, you, you never heard anything about sailing. But it's quite easy. Um, everybody can sail on this ship as a trainee. Um, the prizes I haven't got now in, in my head, but uh, everybody can sail um, and um, if somebody is interested, he just um, shall uh, watch um, on the uh, internet uh, site uh, www.sailtraining.de uh, uh, or uh, should come to an open ship and uh, book a tour with, um, uh, with our ship uh, to the next port. It's possible for everyone and it's, uh, it's really uh, um, something something else uh, like uh, the normal the normal vacations you are normally spending well this um, uh, tall ship uh, this uh, tall ship uh, association and uh, the tall ship race we've got here on the uh, on the lakes on the great lakes um, are a mixture there are i think two or three regattas where the ships are trying to be the fastest but uh, there's also the possibility and uh, that that all of us uh, all, all all the ships i think we are 24 are going to the same harbor, so we can also um, make uh, uh, some. Uh, uh, we can can make some um, some things together in the harbor, like open ship uh, for for the people on land, and uh, of course um, we have got the possibility um, to uh, to uh, contact to communicate to other ships' crews, to Canadian ships' crews and to U.S. ships' crews, and um, this is uh, in fact uh, the reason why we are here and why we are lucky to be here. I think it's, it's, it's a great event that uh, connects Toronto to its water's edge and people will be able to uh, touch a bit of history that um, uh, everybody has, uh, you know, the lure of the sea and adventure.